With this triad exercise, we're asked to use slopes and y-intercepts to determine if lines are parallel. Remember, if lines are parallel, they have the same slope, and if lines are perpendicular, we'll learn that they have slopes that are negative reciprocals, or opposite reciprocals. The product of their slope is negative 1. In this case, we're just wanting to know, are the lines parallel? So to determine if the lines are parallel, their slopes need to be the same. If they're not the same, then the lines are not parallel. The easiest way to determine if they're parallel, uh, you could graph them, but th then it's a question of maybe their slopes are slightly different. Uh, the easiest way is to put them both in slope-intercept form. So if they have the same slope and the same intercept, then they're the same line, they're not parallel. If they have the same slope and a different intercept, different y-intercept, then they are parallel. They'll never touch. So with y equals negative 2x minus 4, our slope equals negative 2 fifths, and the y-intercept is 0, negative 4. It's already in slope-intercept form. So to put the other equation into slope-intercept form, we solve for y. So subtract 2x from both sides. We have 5y, because 2x minus 2x is 0, equals negative 2x plus 5. It's 5 minus 2x, but I'm putting the variable term first so we can have it in slope-intercept form. Then divide both sides by 5, and we get y equals negative 2 fifths x plus 5 divided by 5 is 1. So the slope is negative 2 fifths. y equals mx plus b, so m is negative 2 fifths. And our y-intercept is 0, 1. b is the y-intercept at 0, b. And in this case, y equals mx plus b. b is 1. So we have slopes that are equal and y-intercepts that are different. That means that these two equations represent lines that are parallel. Yes, the lines given are parallel. Now with part B, <coughs> again our first equation is already in slope-intercept form. y equals negative one-half x minus one. So with this one, again, y equals mx plus b. So our slope equals negative one-half, and our y-intercept is zero b, which in this case is zero, negative one. With our second equation, we need to solve for y, so we subtract x from both sides. So 2y equals negative x minus 2. Divide both sides by 2. And we get y equals negative 1 half x minus 1. Now we can go ahead and we'll look at the slope and the y-intercept. Y, this m equals negative one half. That's our slope, and our y-intercept is zero negative one. But if you'll notice, when we solved for y, we ended up with the same equa equation that we started with on the left. So since the lines have the same slope and a different y-intercept, when we put them in slope-intercept form, they're the same equation. So our response is no, the lines are not parallel. And in fact, the equations given represent the same line. They're just different forms of the same line because they have the same slope and the same y-intercept, so they are the same line.